Welcome to Bears Ears National Monument, the Indian Creek unit. We're standing here at Newspaper Rock, an icon of the Indian Creek unit here in Bears Ears. Uh, approximately 200,000 people come and visit this site every single year, whether they're coming to, to take a picture and look at this amazing rock art or coming to stop and by on their way to the Needles District or on their way to go rock climbing or enjoy some of the many great opportunities that are here within the Indian Creek Corridor. This is the first uh, site that people drive by as they're coming into the Indian Creek Corridor. Just a lot of visitation, people passing through to, to Canyonlands National Park. We have the, the world-class recreation in this area. We have uh, livestock grazing that happens here and, and many important uses of the land. And, and as visitation continues to increase in this area, how do we best manage uh, for the opportunities that people are seeking in this area? and as a way to protect uh, beautiful cultural resources like this and, and uh, multiple uses that exist here in the Indian Creek area. Some of the, the challenges that we have to deal with with this heavy visitation at a site like this is how do we you know, keep the toilet facilities clean? How do we protect the, the cultural resources that are here and, and limit some of the, the graffiti or other things that potentially could happen at a site like this? I think Newspaper Rock really is the epitome of what a, a front country public use site in Bears Ears National Monument should look like. And so what is the type of uh, education and information and opportunities that we can provide at this site so that folks know how to appropriately visit uh, different sites within Bears Ears National Monument, whether they're cultural sites or recreation areas, uh, paleontological sites or if they're interacting you know, on trails with uh, livestock or other, other uses of the landscape. And so using this as an as a area, a focal area within the monument to, to really bring people together to understand how to appropriately uh, visit Bears Ears National Monument. So right now I'm standing at Donnelly Canyon, which is a great place to talk about one of the other really popular uses at Indian Creek, which is climbing. So you see the fantastic crack climbing behind me, these giant Windgate sandstone walls, these huge cracks going through it. If you talk to climbers from anywhere across the globe, they're gonna have heard of Indian Creek. They love to come down here and climb. It's especially busy in the spring and in the fall. One of the challenges that that brings is, is that we do get a lot of use here. So in this particular spot, BLM has responded to that use by creating a parking lot. Uh, there's also a bathroom and a little bit of interpretive material to help climbers make better choices about what they're going to do here. In an early, a busy November morning, every single spot out here is gonna be full. The reason why we feel like this is a good choice is Indian Creek is a, has a pretty windy, narrow road there aren't a lot of good places to park on the shoulder. Indian Creek is also a place where we have a lot of great partnerships, and I wanna show you one of those right over here. This is a great example of one of our most important partnerships out at Indian Creek. The Access Fund, RIMFI, Friends of Indian Creek, and various other groups come out every spring for an event that they call a week in the creek. They also sometimes come out in the fall. And what they do is, is they take all of our social trails that could be skittering up the mountain or the hillside, causing a lot of erosion in this Chinle soil, which is very fragile and tends to erode really quickly as soon as that water hits it. And they build these incredible trails. So you can see behind me just the craftsmanship, the quality of the work. Um, they're using big rocks. This is all um, built and held in place by the materials that you can see on site, which is awesome. The other cool thing about it is when I was standing at the parking lot, I couldn't see any of this. So as big as some of these stone structures are, they fade almost completely into the landscape between the way that they're sited and the way that they use just these natural materials. So it's a really incredible feat just in and of itself, but also what a partnership and what a value to have this amount of erosion control service to the climbing community come out of just strictly volunteer work.
One of the things visitors really appreciate about Indian Creek is the opportunity to camp in such a unique landscape and sleep under a dark sky with countless stars. Dispersed camping can be found in the northern portions of the main corridor and in many of the side canyons of Indian Creek. BLM also manages and maintains three developed campgrounds within the corridor. This is Super Bowl Campground. It's the only developed campground within Bears Ears National Monument and has recently been expanded. Super Bowl Campground now has 37 first come first serve campsites at $15 per night and one group site at $65 per night. The group site can be reserved on rec.gov. The fees collected here are designated to be used at the campgrounds in Indian Creek for maintenance, amenities, and ranger presence to enhance the visitor experience. There is potential for future development within the campground, such as shade structures for exposed campsites and turning the center of this turnaround loop into a slackline area or pollinator garden. There are also five bathrooms and a newly constructed hiking trail to a mesa top, providing striking views of the Indian Creek Corridor and Needles District of Canyonlands National Park. The three developed campgrounds in Indian Creek are very beneficial for the area. They help protect cultural sites and reduce impacts to native vegetation, soil, and wildlife. The toilets located throughout the corridor also provide for disposal of human waste, which help protect the sensitive riparian areas that are so important for the Indian Creek experience. As we move forward with cultural and recreation plans for the Indian Creek unit, issues and opportunities related to camping will definitely need to be addressed.